pretty nervous about it because I've never really met a big celebrity before. I've met like, you know, soap actors or something, but never someone who had such a huge influence on film. We've been looking at um, how he's been using his rehearsal techniques to, um, within his film, so I'm looking forward to learning about why he uses those rehearsal techniques and what influence he thinks they have on the audience watching his films. Hello everybody and hello, um, hello, hello, hello. warm <laughs> welcome. I don't need to introduce you to um, one of our great maverick auteurs of British cinema. Um, we're really, really pleased to have the chance to speak to you, Mike. Um, and everybody here is dying to ask you some questions. Shall we start with yours? Okay, um, I think that in today's like film world, a lot of directors focus purely on spectacle, so, you know, all the crazy stuff. Why do you focus more on the characters and the story than you do on putting all this action-packed CGI or whatever it is, and all this stuff into it? Well, apart from anything else, as you've said, that's what everybody else does. So I think I should leave them to get on with it and make films that I think are more interesting to me to make. And, you know, uh, to me, what's exciting about what you can do with film <coughs> is to look at the world and to, you know, reflect the world that we actually live in. I find the world, it's people, uh, exciting and fascinating and uh, ridiculous and extraordinary and moving and uh, funny and sad and uh, altogether that's what life is. The good news is that if you want to see an action movie, you can go and see an action movie. You don't have to come and see my film. There needs to be, there need to be all kinds of things going on, actually. Did you originally want to enter the film industry when you were younger? I remember being, um, when I was 12, <coughs> and my granddad died, being at the funeral, and thinking, oh, this would make a great film. All these, you know, these old men with drips at the end of it. It was a very snowy day in Manchester. And thinking, this would make a great film. And I'm thinking, that's what I want to do. I want to make films about things like this. You know, I mean, that's what it's about, really. So, yeah. It wasn't a nasty accident that I regret. <laughs> no, no, I did. I mean, I, I, look, the thing is, I, I, um, I used to go to the movie, to the pictures, as we called it, when I was a kid and a teenager. And uh, it just was... Uh, and, and actually, I mean, unlike you, because anything, what your experience, like this kind of thing, is something that uh, would have been, uh, you couldn't dream of when I was at school. I mean, you know, in fact, if you'd said you wanted to make films, they'd have thought you would need to have some kind of uh, psychological examination, really. So what inspired you to use improvisation in your films? It just seems a very natural um, way of, <coughs> of opening up and bringing to life uh, an imaginary world, really. I mean, I started out life, my professional life as a student by training as an actor, and at a time when you didn't do improvisations, we just, all we did was, you know, um, learn the lines and just do it. I mean, we, there was no real investigation. And uh, it was very limited and very dead and very not really related to life. And so it, that made me, that forced me, right from the word go, to question these things and to realise that it just was the natural thing to do, to deploy all kinds of improvisation approaches, which, as you've experienced, as you say, uh, make absolute sense, don't they? Was it harder to get in because, like, get yourself known for, for good media because you're a different way of thinking, I mean, a different way of production? Yes, and it still is, curiously. I mean, I, I, it really is. Um, it, it's always been tough because Apart from anything else, when you go to people and say, um, I want to make a film and I don't have a script and I can't tell you what it's about and I don't want to discuss with you who's in it, uh, you don't always get a warm reception. <laughs> Did you ever feel, um, what? Did you ever feel like to change your... Uh, was there any time you feel to change your style? Cause no, at the beginning no. The, the first, if you were to ask me if, whether I'd got any advice for you, it would be never compromise. What's the point? You only live once. It comes out of a conviction that we have to make films about, I want to make films about the things I want to make films about, the way I want to do it. And uh, if you start to compromise, then you'll get, you know, you're wasting time and you'll be dragged into, and also, it, you know, it, you lose the, because if you lose the integrity, you lose the ability, I think. So, no. Um, 
it was really good listening to a professional perception of film rather than peers or teachers or um, anyone from the internet or television. It was much more informative than usual. Hey, um, I think it was a good experience because like me as an upcoming actor myself, like the feedback he gave, he gave to us in whole like, was really good. So like, basically I can take what he gave me and like, take it on and build me as a better actor myself. He sat there, he started talking and I realised he's just an average, you know, very, very down-to-earth guy and a lot of what, everything he said made, made perfectly good sense and it, I thought, thought it went really well. I really learned a lot from him. Listening to him talk today made me um, want to look more at films outside of Hollywood because obviously I'm just, what I'm exposed to is just Hollywood films but now I'm going to like, look at other films from probably different countries, different nat nationalities and things. We learned, you know, more about uh, how how it works and how it creates this, you know, I think it helps us to have a greater appreciation for these, you know, types of films. So I think that in turn makes us, you know, want to go out and uh, watch those films more. So I think in the future I'll definitely be checking out some of his films, especially. He said not to compromise, and the fact that he didn't compromise just shows that you still can make a big, that doing the thing that you want to do. So um, that if you have an idea, just stick to it. I think it's really good news. Film Club is a very uh, inventive and uh, far-sighted and original uh, project. I think it's wonderful and, and it opens up all kinds of doors. And I've just been talking to a gang of kids here at this uh, college in North London and it's, it's really interesting the way that they, they span a complete spectrum of questions and ideas um, and they really are thinking about film and it's very good news, very healthy.